Hi everyone, um, I'm back for an overview of Chapter 7. Um, this week this chapter focuses on civil and administrative law. Um, and while it may be somewhat dry, it's, it's good to know um, about civil law as well as administrative law. Um, first off, civil law uh, really is covering um, things such as torts, which are uh, acts or failure to act that people can be sued for. Um, and so you learn about um, the different kinds of torts as well as defenses uh, to liability because, of course, um, people rarely say, okay, yes, it's my fault. Uh, typically, people say, oh, it's not my fault and here are the reasons why. So there are some defenses to liability. Um, also, um, you'll learn about property law, well, a summary of property law, contract law, family law. Um, and I say a summary because each of these subjects in law school um, is a whole semester long. Um, and so while I had to take all of these, um, I think a summary is good enough for you. Um, also, there's um, a discussion about administrative law uh, in the chapter. And administrative law is really focused on the um, administrative agencies, both state and federal, um, as well as local. You know, cities have administrative agencies too. And each of these agencies, of course, has their own set of rules, regulations. Um, and so administrative law judges, they decide those types of cases. Those cases don't go to civil court, they go to administrative courts. Uh, where administrative uh, law judges hear those cases. So um, again, it's a little bit dry. Um, I think you may find that it is a little bit dry, but um, I, I did uh, put some interesting videos uh, in the module about uh, arbitration, mandatory arbitration clauses that have become very common, um, as well as a fairly recent Supreme Court decision about uh, arbitration clauses in employment. Um, and so hopefully you'll find those useful. So I'll see you next week uh, for the overview of Chapter 8. Bye.